Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's a girlfriend Ilungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos each and every day. So if there's something that you guys want us to react to, let us know by dropping the link in the comment section below, and we'll do it for you. You can check out our second YouTube channel called Funny and Jesse 2.0. We post weekly content. You guys can hit the subscribe and enjoy the content that we're putting out. We've got a podcast called Diving In with Funny and Jesse, and we have some amazing conversations which you guys don't want to miss. You can find us on iTunes, Spotify, Podbean, this channel, or our second YouTube channel for the visual. And we've got a Patreon. Feel free to become members, and we'll appreciate. We're very appreciative of everyone that has subscribed to our channel and is constantly commenting on our stuff. Even the people that like, share, we're very, very grateful. I hope you guys are doing all right, and may you stay blessed. A shout out, a big shout out to the person that suggested this. Today, I'm going to be reacting to ten surprising Muslim Muslim discoveries and inventions. I thought I reacted to this, but then someone, or maybe I've just been seeing the suggestion. So I'm sorry if I if we took long to react to it. So yeah, without wasting time, let's get into the video. There are many things that we can thank the Muslim world for, and in this episode of FCD Facts, I'm looking at 10 surprising Muslim discoveries and inventions that we still use today. So welcome back guys, my name is Leroy Kenton, and we're gonna just hop right into everything. We got number 10 first, hospitals. So the first modern hospital with nurses and training center and everything was in Cairo. The Ahmed Ibtulun Hospital was established in the year 872. All patients received free health care, which was a Muslim tradition that was institutionalized when the hospitals started to become a thing. Now this model would later serve as a template for other hospitals that would appear in different parts of the world. And number nine is the toothbrush. So so Islam places a lot of emphasis on hygiene and the ancient Egyptians are thought to have chewed on twigs from what's called a toothbrush tree. However, these twigs also known as miswaka became known to a lot more people when the Prophet Muhammad started using them regularly to brush his teeth. The Quran does not mention miswak twigs specifically, however many Islamic scholars have mentioned it in their writings. Number 8 brings us magnifying glass as well as glasses. It's grouped together and you'll see why. The scholar Hassan ibn al-Haytham from Bashra, Iraq was the first person to describe how the eye actually works. He carried out some experiments with reflective materials and proved that our eyes don't actually emit rays to perceive our environment as it was believed up until then. He also discovered that curved glass surfaces can actually be used for magnification. His glass reading stones were the first magnifying glasses that were ever created and it was from these that glasses were later developed. So people started wearing them on their face to now see better, increase magnification and of course that led to telescopes and binoculars, so many other things. An amazing one is also the camera. So Hassan ibn al-Hitham appears again for his revolutionization of optics. So he completely rejected the Greek idea that invisible light rays emitted from our eyes and that caused sight. And he believed that vision was caused by light reflecting off an object and entering our eye. In a genius experiment using a dark room with a pinhole on one side and a white sheet on the other side, he proved this theory. Light came through the pinhole and it projected an inverted image of objects that were outside of the room on to the sheet on the opposite side. He called this the Camara, and it was the world's first camera obscura, which we get the term camera from. Clocks come in at number six. So there was an ingenious man called Al Jazeri from Turkey, and he was a very devout Muslim as well as a highly skilled engineer, and he created the concept of automatic machines. By the year 1206, Al Jazeri had made numerous clocks of all shapes and sizes. So of course, 
says we need time today to stay on schedule, structure our lives, so did Muslims over 700 years ago. They knew that it was important to know the time so that they can do things like their regular prayers and things like that. So this of course was a revolutionary invention. At number 5 we have surgical instruments. So back in the 10th century the surgeon Abul Qasim Khalif Il Abad Al Zawahri, he was a man known in the west as Abul Qasis and he wrote the Al Tadrif, his medical encyclopedia which included a section called on surgery and this had a large collection of over 200 surgical tools. Using instruments for surgery was a very revolutionary concept because it actually enabled science to change from just being a speculative theory to something that can be experimental now. His work was the first in history of the medicine to illustrate the use of surgical instruments and the design have only changed a little bit in a thousand years. So it were these illustrations that would lay the foundations for surgery in Europe and in other parts of the world. The fourth spot brings us flying machines. So Abbas Ibn Furnas, he was the first person to make a real attempt to construct a flying machine and actually fly. In the 9th century he designed a winged device that looked like a bird costume and in a trial run that he did in Spain, Furnas flew upward for a few moments before falling right down and breaking his back. His design would be an inspiration for future flying devices and vehicles. And number three brings us coffee. So coffee to a large degree is the best known of the Muslim world's exports. While it originated in Ethiopia, it soon found its way over to the Red Sea to the Arabian Peninsula where it grew in popularity. The legend tells us of an Arab goat herder who noticed their change in mood when the goats ate a certain berry. So he boiled the berries and came up with the first coffee. So yeah, coffee, a very interesting origin story. I know there are some conflicting origin stories out there, but let me know what you think down below. Yeah, Muslim invention or not? This one is probably the one I was a little bit eh about, but sources do indicate that this was a Muslim invention. Algebra is at number 2. So the word algebra comes from the title of a Persian mathematician and his famous work in the 9th century and that was called the Kitab al jabir wal e mugabala Muhammad ibn Musa Khorazim introduced the beginnings of algebra and it was a revolutionary move away from the Greek concept of mathematics which was for the most part based on geometry. He also was the first person to introduce the concept of raising a number to a power. And in at number one we have the modern standing army. So the first modern standing army was developed by the Ottoman Empire. While technically speaking you know a slave army in the early days in Europe was thought to be the first standing army but of course other standing armies did exist as well in the past like the Romans and the Spartan armies for example. However unlike other armies before them the genesis soldiers were actually paid a regular income and they were however forbidden to marry and engage in any type of trade. They would later become famed and known for their internal cohesion, their strict discipline as well as their fighting skills. By the 17th century their power would grow so much to a level that they were able to become what's called kingmakers in the Ottoman Empire and then they were later disbanded. Ok guys so those were 10 surprising Muslim discoveries and inventions. I know that was a super exciting one. Sound off in the comments section down below any about anything that I mentioned in this episode and also let me know what future FTD facts videos you would like to see next. Well if you want to check out another video like this you gotta just tap the annotation right beside my head right here and don't forget to follow me on social media those links are below in the video description as well and while you're at that hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you'll be notified to future videos here on FTD Facts. A big shout out to Nira and his channel. I mean, these facts were just. I'm shocked. Hospitals, are they still free or have things changed now? And the ninth fact do people sell those or do you just get it from a tree or something? I've seen, um, what's his name? Is it Ramsey? Use it in his videos. So, 
I'm just wondering, are those sold or do you just pick it up somewhere? I'm curious. I mean, so many things have been invented. The uh, glasses, um, magnifying thingies, and the camera too. And that's very, very impressive. I mean, I'm just impressed by this. I just want by all the facts that were given. Also, coffee. Is it just me or coffee doesn't affect me? Because once people take coffee, they're hyped, full of energy, can't sleep, but... I can take five cups of coffee and still sleep in a few minutes otherwise this was very very amazing to watch and thank you to the person that kept on bringing these or suggesting these videos make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video